Hello friends, subscribers and new viewers of this channel and welcome to Machine Learning Tutorials. In this tutorial we explain how to properly install NVIDIA CUDA Toolkit and NVIDIA CUDA drivers and compilers on Windows subsystem for Linux. But before we start with explanations, let's briefly explain the main motivation for learning the material presented in this video tutorial. Namely, if you are developing or testing machine learning algorithms and large language models on Windows, you would also like to see how they will behave in a Linux environment. One approach for performing this task is to install Windows Subsystem for Linux on a Windows operating system and to run Linux Ubuntu. Then, after you install WSL or Windows System for Linux, you need to install inside of WSL the standard programs and packages as well as drivers. One of the most important programs and drivers is NVIDIA CUDA Toolkit. Namely, in order to run PyTorch, you first need to install NVIDIA CUDA Toolkit and drivers. Furthermore, NVIDIA CUDA Toolkit and the driver called NVCC driver is very important for compiling and for installing machine learning libraries and pr programs that require CUDA and you need to know how to do that, that is how to install NVIDIA CUDA Toolkit on Windows Subsystem for Linux and we will teach you precisely that in this video tutorial. Okay, let's start. If you don't have WSL installed on your system, you can easily install WSL by clicking here, searching for PowerShell or Windows PowerShell, doing right click and run as the administrator, then click on yes. Then. To install WSL inside of Windows system, you just need to type WSL double dash install. And this command will install WSL. In particular, it's going to install the default version that comes with WSL of Linux Ubuntu and that's Ubuntu 24.04. After you execute this command, you will have to restart your system. On the other hand, if you already have WSL on your system, you need to update WSL. And to do that, open again PowerShell in the administrator mode and type this. This command will update WSL. You can see that my recent version is up to date. However, if you install WSL maybe a year ago, this command will update everything. The next step is to start the default Linux Ubuntu distribution. To do that, click here on Start and search for Linux Ubuntu or simply search for Ubuntu. And if WSL is installed, you will see this icon, click here and Ubuntu will start inside of a terminal. Let's double check the Ubuntu version such that both of us are on the same page. As you can see over here, I'm running Ubuntu 24.04. The first step is to delete this apt key by executing this command. Here is the command and press enter. Okay, the next step is to go to the official NVIDIA CUDA Toolkit web page and to download everything. To access that web page, open your favorite web browser and type CUDA Toolkit Ubuntu. Then click over here to go to the downloads page. Here's one very important comment. If you need some other version of NVIDIA CUDA Toolkit, and you might need it since you might have some package dependencies that require some older CUDA version, you will simply type NVIDIA CUDA Toolkit Ubuntu and specify the version you need. For example, 12.4 and you will go to this web page. However, let's go back to the most recent version, which is 12.8. So let's click here. After you click here, you need to select your operating system. Although you are on a Windows operating system, you still need to select Linux. Then over here, you need to select your architecture. Most likely you're dealing with x86, that is with AMD or Intel processors. And over here, you have several options. The options that you need to select or the option you need to find is this one WSL Ubuntu and over here you need to specify the version the version is 2.0 since the most recent WSL version is 2 and over here you have several several installer types my suggestion is to go with Debian network 
and these commands will be generated. Now, you need to execute these commands in WSL terminal. So let's do that. Okay, let's start first of all this command. Then we need to do this. Then you need to update. And after this command, I suggest you that you also run the following command sudo apt get upgrade. Okay. Then this command will actually install CUDA Toolkit 12.8. And here it is. Now, this command might take a while since you're probably downloading several gigabytes of files. Consequently, be patient. Now, after the last command is executed, NVIDIA CUDA Toolkit as well as the drivers are installed. However, there is one big issue over here. NVIDIA CUDA Toolkit as well as the drivers are not placed inside of the system path and we will not be able to use them. For example, if you type NVCC version, nothing will come out. However, NVCC is installed. NVCC is the NVIDIA CUDA compiler, which is a very important program. So let's learn how to set the path such that you can use NVIDIA CUDA toolkit. First of all, let's verify that NVIDIA CUDA toolkit is installed. To do that, let's navigate to this binary folder. Now, here's one very important remark. Over here, if you install some other version, such as 12.0, Four or maybe 13 point something, you will need to adjust this number. So let's go to the folder and here it is. The folder exists as well as all the files. So from here, we can start NVCC. However, you cannot even start from here NVCC like this. You need to do this or better to say it like this. Okay, and we can see that we can run NVCC. However, now we need to place this folder inside of the path such that every time we start a terminal or a bash, we can execute NVCC compilers and we can execute all other files. To do that, let's go back to the home folder and inside of the home folder, you have this very important file called .bashrc. Here it is. This file contains all the configuration files for your start startup of your system so let's ed edit this file to do that type sudo nano then type dot bash rc and make sure that you're in the home folder and over here at the end of this file let's go all the way down all the way all the way down this this file has many pages we need to copy this command However, here, make sure that you adjust the number like this, such that the path is correct. And let's paste this. Let's explain what's happening over here. Here, you're setting the path and you're adding to the existing path this part over here. Okay, so let's save this. Control O to write it out, press enter. Control X to exit. And the next time we restart WSL, we should be able to start NVCC. So let's test that. So let's close. Then let's again start. Let's search for Ubuntu. Click on Ubuntu. Let's start Ubuntu. And over here, let's type NVCC. And we can see beautiful. Let's do this NVCC version and we can see the current NVCC version. Good. Another thing to verify that everything is working perfectly is to try to run this command NVIDIA-SMI and you should see over here your CUDA version, you can see the drivers and you can see all sorts of things. Note over here that this CUDA version is the same CUDA version that comes with your driver that's installed on Windows. That is, this CUDA version is not the version of the compiler that we just installed. This CUDA version is the CUDA version of the driver and it really doesn't matter if your driver for the GPU has a different CUDA version compared to the driver you used to install. Okay, 
that's all for today i hope that you like this video if you like the videos i'm creating please press the like and subscribe buttons and see you in the next video tutorial